Kylian Mbappe wants to join Arsenal. <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> All right, maybe not quite. Maybe Shameless. not quite. But there are reports that he'd be willing. Mm. Now look, I think we all, we all kind of suspect there might be something at play here, whatever. But I think we've been talking for a while on this channel. People have laughed before about whether Arsenal could get themselves in a position where they're part of this conversation. I think we all agree is probably ending up around Madrid. But there's a conversation to be had, and the conversation we want to have, and let us know in the comments your thoughts on it, is how far should Arsenal go to get Kylian Mbappe? Should they break the bank? We know this is a guy on wages astronomically beyond what our players are currently on, but we also were talking about one of the best in the world, if not the best. So we're going to have it out in a debate. And we're going to talk about the strike situation as well, because a few other players are putting themselves in the conversation and will be looked at this summer. So, let's start with you, Laurie. Mbappe. I'm 900 grand a week reportedly. All Get the it bonuses. Done. I'm all in. Get it done. All in. As long as we don't lose Eddie, I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> 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 no. He'll be taking his top. He'll be taking 14. There's no way that um, Kian Mbappe is in Arsenal and Eddie still wears 14. Uh, they could have seven each. Hundred <laughs> 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 oh seven God. each. Turkish <laughs> come to you then. Where are you? Easy man. I've, I've, I said it last year and people were laughing about it. And listen, I get it. It does sound, you know, out of this world. It does sound delusional. I understand that. But man didn't get told we're moving into this stadium to compete with the best teams. If when the best players are available 20 years on, we're not going in for them. At the very least, go in, try because right now, you look at the landscape of European football. There's not many great clubs about. You know, there's, there, there's one in Man City, there's another in Real, and then you'll have the Bayerns and the Liverpools who have, you know, won major honours recently. But it's not what it was 20 years ago where there was an abundance of great clubs all over where players could go to. Arsenal are, are looking primed to be entering a phase where we're winning major trophies. And if Mbappe is the face of that, do you know what that does for him, his brand, his legacy? I know Real's one thing, and Real's the greatest football club in the world, I get that. Most heritage, I get that. But at the same time, like, you know... Henri has said himself what Arsenal meant to him. Many players have come here and gone and still been a gunner at heart. You know, we see that with Ozil now, for example. Kozula is another one. So there's something about this club that if you can come and be the face of the, the new generation of a great Arsenal side, it's up there. It's, uh, your, your legacy will be up there with the very best. It, did, it didn't stop Henri from becoming one of the icons of football, full stop. 900k a week. You get annoyed when Havertz misses a chance and he's, on the, he's the second highest pay, player. Mbappe misses a chance. How can Nketiah and Havertz come up in an Mbappe? <laughs> this, is, this is the problem. This is why we need Mbappe. Bro. Man need to stop talking about these types of players. If we're paying Havertz 275 bags, right. Mbappe's worth 800 bags, 900, whatever it is. He's mm. worth it. But realistically, none of them are worth what football's become. But it's all about money now. And at the end of the day, the commercial appeal of an Mbappe. We thought the black shirt selling out last year, which was, I think, the highest selling ever, mm -hmm. yep. was Wait, something yeah. big. We thought when Ozil come and all the number 11s was something big. Mbappe? Yeah, would I think bring he's got something like 100 well. million followers on Instagram. Bro, he, he, wherever he's, he's one of those players that wherever that player goes, the club social accounts grow by it, another so. 10 million. He's yeah, one of true. those. And when he leaves, so they did. If you're all about yeah, money, if the Cronkies are, because that's why I think it's, it's mostly about money for them in the end, the end goal is profit then Mbappe yeah. would be a very wise investment, in my opinion, because it, it, increase, it, it pushes on the brand for longer than Mbappe is a footballer. It becomes, we become part of history, let's say. Well, we are part of history as being one of the greatest English sides. But having an Mbappe and the new fans that brings, especially in this new climate, this world, you know, every, all eyes on, on the Premier League, mm. It would be massive for us. And we're, and we're missing in America as well. That oh. void needs to be filled, doesn't it? Because yeah. he's the best. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, everything he said. I don't normally agree with a lot of what Tony <laughs> says. But I agree with everything he says. Um, if there was a little sniff that we could get Mbappe, we have to get him. He's the best player in the world. I, I, I look at it and say, best player in the world. He's world class. He's a game changer. He wouldn't have to pay uh I, I know those you, you you know talk about the ridiculous um wages per week but you wouldn't have to pay a transfer fee remember if you had to pay a transfer fee him for him you're talking like that's at least 200 million 200 250 million you wouldn't have to pay that it would just be the wages so that would inflate up his the wages a bit more yeah it would. but over that period of time it'd be worth it like he said think how many shirts you sell shirt sells, yeah. think of Everything about Arsenal's profile, which is already huge around the world, 
goes up massively. Tenfold, yeah. Right? And not only that, the most important thing of it all, if we had Mbappe, I think we'd win the league. I think if we had Mbappe this season, right, I'd be like saying, yeah. I'd be backing us to win the league. Treble. We'll be talking right? about Because that. to me, well, he's, he, he's that player. You know what I mean? You, <laughs> well, you know, City have got these, you know, they've got Haaland's, they've got De Bruyne, right? You know what I mean? Liverpool have got Salah, right? We've got many players that are getting up there. But if you add an Mbappe to that, a world-class player like that, you then all of a sudden become a favourite to win the Champions League, mm -hmm. a favourite to win the league. And it's what Arsenal fans deserve. And if you actually look what Stan Kroenke did with the LA Rams, yeah. he went out and added Odell Beckham. some of the best players around in the NFL. And, and biggest contracts around. On the biggest yeah. contracts around, and they won the Super Bowl. Yeah, correct. Right, so... Yeah, why not, well, guys. Yeah, why not do well, the same yeah. do the same thing here I mean don't go to the wager thing on that you know break the bank and bring him in because you'll make it back you'll make it back Easy. commercially can I put it another well, way quickly yeah and to the people out there that have said you know Turkish you're delusional you're moving mad because I get it it does sound it but would you pay 200 million for Mbappe and no wages for four years that sounds a lot better doesn't it Essentially yeah. a mil mm. a week, 52 weeks of the year. Yeah. How much does that work out to? Oh, 52 M's, yeah, four yeah. years, yeah. it's 208 worth M's, it. and 208 then what, million. What you're getting back commercially, still that's a lot right? Still, uh, like you right. said, Mbappe shirts will be everywhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, and he as well, I think would be, if he came to an eye, and listen, we all, this is all hypothetical because we don't know these stories or whatever they are, but if, say, he did come to Arsenal, who do you think he's, he's going to want to emulate and beat? Yeah, it's yeah. Henri. He's done, yeah. yeah. Right? He, that's going to be, he's going to be like, I want to surpass what Henri did for us. So, a signing like that, unless he got injured. <laughs> that was in the news report from, from um, Miguel Delaney that, like, it once was a part of his thinking, like, to, to look at legacy and look at history. So, you do wonder with that. I mean, the fact that he'd be willing kind of shows you or open, you know, again, whether it's agent talk or not. I mean, Arsenal, the fact that you can actually put this report out and it doesn't even sound like a joke, like it actually sounds like there's something to it. Mm. Like Liverpool, again, go back 10 years, we've never been in the conversation for Mbappe, but the work they've done, now we haven't done what Liverpool have done, but the fact that we even looked at it as a club that might be able to do that soon, shows the progress we've made. The thing about Mbappe, right, let me give you some stats. 412 senior games for Monaco, PSG and France. 311 goals, 142 assists. He's done that from four positions, winning 17 trophies. Of course, the Champions League eludes him, but 14 World Cup, World Cup appearances, 12 World Cup goals, two World Cup final appearances, yeah. four World Cup final goals. It's an extraordinary set of achievements at the, 25. He's got a better World Cup legacy than most of the greats, if not the greats. I was at the World it's Cup incredible. final. I was at the World Cup final watching him, just on his own. Yeah literally take France on his back, back and nearly yeah. win that game. He's an unbelievable player, man, unbelievable. But let me give you this, right? Arsenal have eight players between 50 and 99K a week, seven between 100 and 149, two between 150 and 199. The key bracket is at 200, 200 grand a week to 300 grand a week, we've got six players. Not above one that. is above 300 grand a week. So we would be not just beating, you know, <laughs> not just going beyond our wage bill, annihilating our wage bill. And the question is, and, and listen, I agree with you all, best player in the world, unbelievable time, generational, and I, I read through his stats there, but the question is, does he guarantee you, guarantee the Premier League and the Champions League? Has it League? worked before? Yeah. We, has it worked before with Does it? Has it worked before it with Arsenal? But Messi, Neymar and Mbappe didn't guarantee the Champions, Champions League, League for PSG. Yeah. I think they're different circumstances though. I think. I think when, when Messi joined PSG, it was like last chance saloon, but Messi's heart wasn't there. Plus, I, I, he was he, quite advanced. Look at the age. way he left Barcelona, he was in tears. His first season in France didn't really go too well, I think about five, six goals. And Neymar, his injury problems, that, you know, we, we, we've known that over the years, even prior to Messi. You're um, better than Neymar. Who, Neymar. Mbappe? Yeah, better Yeah, no, than I get that, but I mean, that three didn't work out because of that. Mm. And PSG, I think with Arsenal, right now where we're at, I think if you add an Mbappe, a Premier League title and a Champions League is, is, is a guarantee within two years. Is it? A guarantee. <sighs> guarantee. Every time we've had... I don't know if anything's players. a guarantee, man. Bro, yeah, have you, you seen the landscape of football? I we, hear going it, into the last 16 now, we are the third favourites for Champions League. 
I behind heard, City yeah. and Real. You had Mbappe to us. We are City, Real and Arsenal now. It's not no longer third. That's what, that's what Mbappe does. I think does. Turkish makes a good point here, because if you remember, when City were, everyone was acknowledging them as the best team around here, yeah, in um, Britain and in Europe, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't quite get it done in the Champions League. Lo and behold, who rocks up? Haaland, and they end up winning it. So I think it'd be a similar. I, 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 when, you're, when you're paying someone that much money, we saw it with us. It was sort of a Bamiang. It, can, it doesn't always work out the way well, that you we know. We made wrong, bad decisions. Then this wouldn't be a bad decision. We don't. Know. It wouldn't. Plus, like, yeah, it it it's it's a good point. It's a very different set of circumstances when, when um, in, sorry, Messi rocked up at Barca. Sorry, at uh, PSG. PSG to win to Zwift. Mbappe rocks up at Arsenal because we've got the supporting cards to provide him with everything he needs in terms so of it's goals. A no, it's a no-brainer. To me, yeah. like, it's, it's a no-brainer, you know. What do you say to the Arsenal no, nobody, players? Nobody, yeah, exactly. no what do you Arsenal, say to the captain who's on a no, quarter of that amount? Listen, no no Arsenal player's going to come go. Yo, Mikel, man, boy, my man's on eight, nine hundred, man. I reckon I should be on eight as well. They, they're not going to do Bag that. 50, I'll they're going to acknowledge man that we've had to pay that to bring in the best player in the world. They're going to be glad to be I playing with him mm. and they'll be getting rewarded well and the profile of everything around Arsenal Gross. will go up if you had a player like that. And he's young. It's not like you're bringing in, like you said, the no, Messi's and Ronaldo's and that where they're sort of getting towards the end. They've already done them great things. We'd be catching him at the mm. time where he could do the great things. And I he, mean, he'd want to, he'd, the Premier League is the, is the best league in the world. I think he would be infused to join you know, a Premier League side to really yeah. solidify think, his legacy. And, and that's something it's a thing, you could tick because Messi never did that, did he? he it'd, be a thing that it'd be a thing that if, he, if it's not Real Madrid, which I still think it, it will, will be, be Real Madrid, yeah. right? He will consider the Premier League, definitely, because what's the other option? I'd love to see him in the Premier League, just to see how he does Even it. Even part of the right. legacy thing, none of us have mentioned it, but Arsenal's one thing, going up against Haaland is another thing. You know, that would be the Messi-Ronaldo of the modern era. They're not Messi-Ronaldo, by yeah, the way. Yeah. I wouldn't even put them in the same combo, but yeah. did, that would be the, the battle. Yeah, no, I hear that. Oh, well, let's ask some questions then. Where do we think he ends up? Because this summer his contract expires unless he does sign a new one-year deal. I'm not sure if that's been done. Laurie, give me a couple of Well, you'd have to lean towards Real Madrid because he himself, the player, has said on occasions that that is his dream move. However, things can change. Well, something for whatever reason isn't getting done on that side. And I think everyone is getting bored of that side a little mm. bit. Like, you know, oh, I want to leave. Next thing, no, I haven't actually said anything. No, it's lies in the press. You know, no, I'm not signing a new contract. But, you know, it, there have been a lot. It's been a pretty exhaustive back and forth. I think a lot of people are kind of done with. But do you think he ultimately ends up at Real Madrid? Yeah. This one's interesting. It, it probably will be Real Madrid. If you look at <laughs> Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Junior, and Bappe, it's scary when you put those names in in what it could be. Uh, if he came to the Premier League, it feels weird saying like a. Mbappe, Martinelli, Jesus. I don't know why it doesn't, doesn't fit well. I think he wouldn't go to Liverpool, I don't think, because obviously with Klopp leaving at the end of the season, him cut. I think that is, there's too much of a dynamic, a weird dynamic for him to just go into a Liverpool side. City don't, in my opinion, need him, but. He wouldn't go to City because they've already got Haaland, yeah. right? He wouldn't go to um, Chelsea why? because they've got no Champions League football. They've got no chance of getting Champions League football this season, Fair. right? He wouldn't go to. Uh, United? I'm not no. sure. United. No. They normally do these stupid. They league. may not get Champions League football either. I don't think he's going to go nowhere if they ain't got no Champions League football. He ain't going to do that. I mean, the United, if they were up there, that would be the other team where I'd say, well, you know. So you said Arsenal makes the most sense. It makes the most sense Out because you're, Premier League club. you're, you're, you're talking about a team that can challenge yeah. for the league. They're proving it again this season. You're talking about a team that's um, progressive. You've got the whole Henri factor. That's the biggest. It's London thing. and it's a huge club. And he will make it even bigger. So it would make perfect sense. The only other club I said in, if United, United were in good shape, I could see you know that being. Um, yeah, yeah. A, a pro. I'm not sure if he, like you said, with the Liverpool thing with Klopp going yeah, as well, would sense. he would he be like? Mm, Trump, yeah. Are they still going to be on the ascendancy? I feel like we'd have to secure a major trophy for it to be doable. I don't. I don't. I think he wants to know we can do it rather than believe he's the guy to get us over. I don't the line. know. You know. I don't. What do you think? Uh, I don't know, I think players of his confidence and belief, I watched him at the World Cup, even if you watch the documentary, the way he has so much belief in his talent, I think he would more gravitate towards being the guy. That's how you build a legacy. I think, if you look at Thierry Henry, what he's done for us, like most people look at him, I think Mbappe would see that and say, I can 
change. I can make, I can be the needle mover at Arsenal, and I think more so than let me wait to see if they can win something because that means mm. you surely you want to be the reason they win something more than oh they've done it already. Why that's that's a big part of legacy as well. Yeah, yeah being the difference maker. Are you joining a club that's already winning the majors, or are you joining a club to, to be the the reason? And, and I'm sure as well, Mbappe will be aware that the Premier League is the biggest and most watched league 100%. in the world. It is the glamour place though to go is Real Madrid. That's the glamour move. I think that's where he ends up. But that thing is, is for whatever reason, struggling to go over the line. But we'll keep an eye on it. Let's talk about the strikers. And by the way, let us know in the comments below whether you would break the bank to get... Would you bankrupt Arsenal to start getting in Mbappe? <laughs> you convinced me, though, uh, by the way, in this conversation. Uh, yeah, because I, I, was, I, was, I was also 50-50. Yeah, same. Not because not I, I don't question or doubt the talent whatsoever. Yeah, it was the whole dynamics and does it guarantee you and you know there are other things I didn't bring up like and you're all going to laugh players. but things like his defensive numbers are appalling but it's like do you care like it, like who cares if ultimately he's doing his Mbappe stuff on the ball yeah. off the ball you just tell everyone to no one ain't make watching up for Mbappe it, but, to like, see like, defensive but. no but if, no, you, if but you're modern, not system, to modern team, systems have all yeah. been about everyone doing the hard exactly. work you're Haaland, De Bruyne, Salah you all do the hard work and what I'd say is that there's actually nothing to suggest that Mbappe wouldn't fall in love with that anyway. Why not? Like, he's a young player. Yeah, just buy another defensive midfielder, man. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three <laughs> DMs, <laughs> just about <laughs> seven. And Mbappe just the up front. Top. Right, <laughs> you, you don't want to suppress that, man. You need to, yeah. you know, you need to, we need to encourage build it more, around him. more freedom in talents like that rather than Guardiola's way of, of making sure everyone's a cog. I think football's lost a lot from that. Mm, I would have yeah. liked to see Mbappe, you know, Playing the system. Doing more defensive work at the risk that he becomes less entertaining up top but becomes better for a manager like Guardiola or Arteta. No. Yeah. Work you, around you, that. you alluded to his scoring records. No. He's winning games. So, other strikers then. Um, I mean, it depends who you all want to talk about. There are a few I've got in mind. Benjamin Sesco has been starting recently for Leipzig, missed a few chances against Real Madrid the other night, but there are rumours of a release clause there. Ivan Tony's a very interesting one because. Brentford have now just gone and signed, I think his name's Igor Thiago, I yeah, think. Yeah. You know, a striker for 30 million pounds. He's only done six, seven months, I think, for Club Bruges. Yeah. 30 million pounds, six foot two striker. Feels like an Ivan Tony replacement. They're doing the Villa thing mm -hmm. where they signed Buendia and all these players before Jack Grealish was sold. Um, Frank's been very, Thomas Frank's been very open about um, Tony's future. And then Osterman, who I know Laurie was very impressed by at Amcom. <laughs> oh, Robbie loves um, Osterman as well. He was a fan of Osterman as well, Robbie. No, Laurie's awesome. the opposite. Still a oh, fan. oh. Lauren, no, Lauren. no, let, let, let me set the record straight. He, he is a good player, but... Laurie he, said he, he hates him. <laughs> no, joking, as far bro. as should we sign in, no. I think, to me, Ivan Tony is the superior player. Robbie. I don't know. I've got no doubt in my mind. I like Ivan Tony. I'd have Ivan Tony. I like Osman as well. You can't just... Just the same way you can't go for the tournament when a player bangs him in. Is the same way you can't go for the tournament when someone has a poor tournament. That's a good point. Um, Salah has had multiple poor tournaments for Egypt. Mm. Would you sign in the bank? Would you sign him? He's got it in the bank. So has Osman's got Osman's it in the, got the bank. Numbers. He won the not, league. Not to the level he's, of Salah. He scored goals that won Napoli the league. So you can't go off of a one. No, I'm not. I'm not just going what on. What did Salah do at Afcon? He didn't. No, yeah, no, I know no. He got but I did not say. I did not say that all of my reservations are based so what, on Afcon. What's, what's I, it based off of? I, I watch him and I just. I'm just not impressed. He's got good pace, and yes, he has scored goals. He's good in the air, good pace, but I, for good me, finisher. I look at him and I look at Tony, and I'm just to me, Tony's just a better footballer. Tony, I'd look at and I'd say he'd be Premier League ready. It's Premier right? He hit yeah. the ground running. We've seen this yeah. guy; he's been he off. Returned. He's been out of the, you know, not play any football for eight months. Come back like he's even been away. That's really impressed me. I think you know, if it was Ivan Tony, I'd be more than happy with. But I'd be more than happy with Awesome Men as well. He's a quality player. Let's not just be looking at, you know, he didn't score a lot of goals at AFCON. And he did do a little, contributed a lot off the ball uh, um, in moves and that, and they did get to the final. And I said, I've seen Salah have poor tournaments before. He's come not on back the to level Liverpool, of Salah. banging he's the not, goals. He's not on the level of Salah. Well, not yet. He's, I mean, no he's, a lot, yeah, he's only 24. He's not. Yeah, Salah's, he's Salah's, not Salah's is 30. He's the, I mean, he's Salah's had a <laughs> bigger body of work. But one thing I do know is that he led. Napoli to their first title since the days of Maradona. That is very impressive up against all them powerhouses over there in Italy. He's a top, top player. Well, let's, let's add some price tags to this to make it a little bit more tricky, yeah? Tony for 65 million, Austin no for 100. Yeah, Tony. It would be Tony and it'd be a no-brainer. Are they both, really? na are they natural finishers? Because I don't, I know they score goals, but like they, to me they're Tony's quite... Tony's a natural finisher. <laughs> if he's one-on-one, -on -one, you back him. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. But a natural, 
I don't know, it's weird because they've scored so many goals, but I don't see them, I see them quite erratic, powerful, these are strength a lot, they're quite gangly well, in their play. Tony's a good finisher, man. Mm. He's, a good, he's a good finisher. He he's good also a good finisher. player. Like he's a good, very good. Right. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a good he's a good. Yeah. Like. I, and you know what I like about Tony as well? I love his temperament, man. He's got that big game. Temp. He's got that. Yeah, he's he got that come, he doesn't aura around, around him. He's got so that aura Osman. around him that he embraces yeah. being. The, so is Osman. Osman's proved it in the Champions League as well, right? Tony's is already he? played. Tony's a top player. On a, you know, I would, you know, I wouldn't be against having him, but he hasn't played in the Champions League. That's true. He hasn't even played in the Europa League. He's also you know a touch mean? older. Yeah, he's a bit you know, older. You know I mean, he's not really got any experience of doing those things. Now, Premier League Whereas, is a big, is a big. Osimhen played in those things and did well in the Champions League. So, what are you Turkish? Sixty for Tony, hundred for Osimhen. Where are you sitting on this? They're saying that. I've been saying recently, and I'm trying to make sense of it, yeah, but I know what I mean when I say it, so hopefully you'll understand, yeah. If we buy a Tony for 65 million and it works out and, and he does well and he justifies the price tag, I don't necessarily think that ends in a Premier League title or a major trophy. But I think if we go spend 100 million on Shaman and it works out and he lives up to his price tag, I think we win major trophies. I, I don't, I, 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 yeah, it's hard for me to tell you why that is, but. I just feel like if Oshimen comes, it works out and he is one of the, if not the final piece to this puzzle that Arteta has been building because it does look like he would be or the striker would be the final piece. Then in two years, when we're lining up in the Champions League one day, we would have a Premier League title behind our belt. Mm. Oshimen up top, scary striker in Europe. Can I say the same for Tony? So what does Mbappe confirm for you then? As much as I take Tony too, I take Tony, but I think we're in a position now where I'd probably like to take both because I feel like if we've got Tony... When you say say, um, scary... Yeah, Jesus is injury prone and Eddie is, you know... When you say scary striker, are you talking about the mask? (laughs) No, no, I'm I'm talking about the threats he brings because Tony's got threats of his own. But I'm not sure his threats are, Gets you are something line. that a Real Madrid would worry about or his threats are more to aid other people, which is good. We've seen that work over the years as well, that type of a striker. But I think Osherman, his threat is you've got to look over your shoulder. You've got to mm. don't lose him for a second. And even off the ball, he works hella hard. He does work hard. That's something he, you know, yeah. Arteta loves in a player mm. as well. So I do think... Again, if I lean back on this whole promise that Arsenal competes at the top, in, you know, moving into the Emirates, yep. then I'd rather take the risk, the 35 million risk more on Oshiman than bring in Tony, who I think the ceiling for us would be, you know, more potential challenges, maybe titles, maybe he does. So, so, so Tony gives potential title challenges or potential trophy, but it's challenge. Oshiman gives you the prem, you think he can get you the Premier League and the Champions or not? Yeah, he can be part. Yeah, hundred percent. So then, what is that? You said, you said Mbappe. No, but he can be part of it, though. Oh, I'm not okay. saying that Mbappe. Mbappe's a cert, bro. There's no, there's so no. It gets you all, it gets like, all. There's no question if is Mbappe going to come and do well. He's going to come and do well. You know, the question with him has been about wages and breaking yeah. up. There's no question about his quality. With Osterman, it's about will he be, you know, good enough in the Premier League. There's no question with that with Mbappe. Do you think Arsenal also juggling up what other business they need to do? Because what I find extraordinary is that we're coming into. I think Arteta's fifth or sixth summer transfer window, we're saying two fullbacks. We're talking maybe another six or an eight, certainly another midfielder. Mm-hmm. We're talking depth of Bakar Saka, Neto, Elise, a few players have been linked. Uh, no, Nico Williams very recently, Bill Bow player. And then finally a striker. Maybe two. I, I don't see 100 million going on one player if that's all no, the business they, they want to do. Well, yeah, and that's why. And the thing is, I'm, I'm torn between Osman and Tony. I think there's really good points for both. I think Osman feels like the more natural goal scorer. Tony, I think everyone would, everyone would thrive off Tony up top. I think. But what about if I add in, all right, right now as we stand, Demo Smith Rowe will be up for sale in the summer. Yeah. Unless he changed 30 million. Eddie, 30 million, 25 mm. million. Reese Nelson, 25 million ish. Partey. 25, 30 million. Mm-hmm. That's 100, 120 million raised. That mm. covers the positions you've said without no, the natural budget. Wages gone, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, wages gone for Elneny. Elneny will be gone. Various different yeah. players. No, no guarantee Jorginho stays. So I would yeah. give him an extra year. So, uh, doable. Doable. I think so. Yeah. Doable. Right. doable. Arteta's already said, you know, he hasn't really spent no money on forward players. I mm-hmm. think they are going to do that this summer. I think the forward players. Are it would be, be remiss of them not to. Yeah. And they forward tend to be the gonna, most expensive. Forward players are going to be the priority this summer. Yeah. 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 All right. So let's have hands up for Ivan Tony. I'll, I'll take him. him. Well, okay. No, Tony or Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's asking for both. Everyone's just like, yeah, bro. I'm the striker. Right now, I'm going to say Ivan Tony. All right. Tony Osman, or if you've got another you want to bring to the table, hands up if it's Tony. I like Tony. 
Tony nicks it. I'm 51 49. I still want Isak, by the way. More yeah. than more than okay. both of them. Osserman. Well, if you yeah, want to. Osserman. It's Osserman 51. Isak is a good one to put in. I really want Isak. Osserman for me only because of the age. Okay. Okay. The ceiling, yeah. if, I, if I said Isak, would any of you put your I hand like up? Isak. Yeah, just injury yeah, problems are a concern. Okay. I, I, would, I would take Isak over Osserman. There's a long list as well. Vlavic, anyone interested in that? No, I'm not. That ship sucks. He likes Vlavic, right? Possibly. Um, like him, but. L- Lois Appender. I like Appender, yeah. Appender's mm-hmm. good. Kyokera, is it sporting? I don't know much about him. He was at the commentary before as well. He was yeah. a commentary. Evan Ferguson? Too no, young yeah, yeah, for what we need, but... Yeah, one, one I day. see more But like, well. is this the first time we're going to a summer where like, there are options? This yeah. is none, none of this There's like... There's one player that we've been linked with that you've omitted from that list. Dominic Ollie Watkins. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I never saw Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins, Dominic Solanke. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of names though. Oh, one thing I know as well, whoever we get has to be better than what we got. Right, because you know, if, if a lot of names get banded around, not better than Gabriel Jesus, no point in buying them. That's my opinion. So, but yeah, I mean, out of all those you've mentioned, I don't know, it's still those two. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like you said, Seco's, oh, Seco's yeah, at, um, Seco. um, Leipzig, you've got um, Victor Boniface as well, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. talking about from Leverkusen. There are a lot of options. Oh. It'll be a lot of money. It's going to be, I uh, you know, but he spent in January. There was a reason why, because they were all going after those big players in the summer. I yeah. feel uncertain about all those names, bar. What, why are you Tony. uncertain about Tony? I mean, if he's no, banging goals said, for I just, Brentford, I just, I just, just said the bar, oh, sorry, bar those if names. If he's banging goals for Brentford, yeah. bar those then names. it follows to me that he's going to do just as well, if not better. I'm hesitant hesit- 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 to say banging goals at Brentford, though. That's a myth. He's be, he scores goals. But I think Arsenal fans that look at Tony think he's a certified Good. 20 goal a year striker. He's, he's done it once in the Premier League, which is fine. I'm not this, but I'm but just he saying. He did it for that. Brentford, though. Right? Yeah, he done it for Brentford with six penalties. So it's well, not, he could take penalties for Arsenal. He can, but what I'm saying is he's <laughs> no, not. He's not that guy that you know. He's start, it's, it's, sometimes we talk about him like he's, he's buying Harry Kane. Mm. It's not a certified 20 goal a year striker. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone, let us know in the comment section below who the striker be that you want to sign. And going back to that Mbappe deal as well, would you do it? Could be a free transfer this summer. Of course, we know the Real Madrid stuff is happening. It's likely to go that way. But in our dream world, why not? And like Turkish was saying, we didn't move to the Emirates for these things to just be a dream. So let's see how that all pans out. But like I said, let us know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Big thanks to Laurie, Robbie, Turkish and Cecil. And check out all the preview content ahead of Burnley. See you in a bit.